what is going on, everybody? Hey! It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Phoenix Ride Dual Destinies. When we left off, we've got Mr. LaBelle here, Mr. Fake Joker Man over here. And we're going to talk to him a little bit. But, even though I said last time I was going to go all Joker style with yeah. him, I then remembered that doesn't quite match with his personality. So I'm going to try and go for more of a, uh, once again, try to recycle the voice a little bit. But use my Maximilian Pegasus voice, which is also Maximilian Galactica, Max Galactica. But now it's going to be for the bad guy. Yeah. All right. So. <clears throat> like <me> Pegasus. <laughs> like Pegasus, yes. <clears throat> In my millennium, I. <clears throat> yes. Getting it, it's like, <laughs> here, gay boy. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your warm up. Got to get into character. I got to switch between characters 17 times. True. <clears throat> That is quite enough. I must ask you not pester my friend anymore. There we go. James! Think of being pestered, sir. Forget. <laughs> and you are. I am Florent LaBelle. Bio Divine and personal aide to Mayor Damien Tenma. Bo Yo, Divine. Bo Divine? More like Bovine. <laughs> like, Yo, more like Yokai yo yo Grotesque. This place is crawling with monsters. He looks like if. Uh -oh. oh, excuse you. Oh. What the heck was that for? <laughs> oh, it was my little cologne. Just a little cologne. You had a look of stinky sweat about you. It's from my own original brand of cosmetics called... Je suis la belle. Je suis la belle. Thank you on that yeah. one. Oh, what a heavenly scent. Oh. Uh, I think I, you just paralyzed my old, my old factory receptors. Olfactory receptors. Okay, I'll pretend I know what that is. I, I, it's I, I, basically your nose. It's my smell vision. Pretty much. <laughs> I suppose such a scent would be difficult for a peasant to appreciate. I'll have you know that is brand number five. Bonjour. Is that is 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 that is that Godot blend number one oh seven? Rookie rip off you got over there. <laughs> you look at Godot Coffee Company and go, oh, that's a great idea. All right. Hey, stop. <laughs> but like, he looks like a fusion between. Like a geisha, you know, like kind of like how Mulan was with the makeup. Yeah. And like old school Joker. Yeah. Yeah. If if the Joker was a geisha <laughs> and if blonde, the Joker was a pretty boy. <laughs> yeah. And had the strongest shoulders of all mankind. Three. Good God. It's all padding. That's his <laughs> it's, secret. <laughs> it's my way of introducing myself. Enjoy. Where's my bottle of edu so I can return the favor? Oh. <laughs> Enough about the cologne. Please tell us what you saw around the time of the murder. Boy, he Mr. would, he murderer. would, he could discuss scents and essential oils in French with, with a uh, friggin' Chef Armstrong. Remember? Oh God, they'd that, have a time. That's a match made in heaven <laughs> right there. That's a power couple. <laughs> All right, I heard you the one who told Jinxie not to mention that she saw Tim Matar. Could you put your fucking diary away, okay? Why that little? <clears throat> so she told you she saw the demon, did she? Mr. LaBelle, do you mind if I ask whether you believe in the village superstitions? <laughs> oh, please! I was merely trying to keep with traditions. Nevertheless, I will say this. I wouldn't stick my nose into this whole Ten Matar business if I were you. Bad things happen to those who do. That much is true. He is one scary monster. Jesus. That's crazy. You don't expect me to believe that monsters are real. <laughs> Dual monsters are. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Welcome to Duelist Island. Oh but you're real and you sure all look, look, look like a monster. Oh. Look, look who's talking. So, Mr. LaBelle, you didn't see Tim. Little Jinx is an act of imagination. Isn't that right, Phineas? That's right. I didn't see nothing, especially no Tim Mataro. <laughs> Sounds like you're under wraps. Yeah. As for me, I only see things of beauty. That's why I can barely see you. <laughs> oh, damn. I've got two words for this guy. Total freak. Also, fucking freak. Yeah. <laughs> freak, prick. I, I can I can. <laughs> you speak. rhymed it with freak. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you what you were doing at the time of the crime? In other words, I'd like to hear my alibi. <laughs> I think you'd suspect me of all people. No. <laughs> Oh, no, it's just formality. We to... Jesus, we can't even... <laughs> How dare you doubt me? That's an affront to beauty itself. Jesus. You obviously can't see straight. Well, Maybe I am cause... high from yeah. the fumes of your fucking perfume. <laughs> yeah, like that spritz really helps. Yeah, like that spritz really help. <laughs> what are we doing, you ask? Go ahead, Phil. She answered the question. 
And at the time of the crime, we were... Um, I didn't see it for you. Exactly. Good answer, Filchy. Good answer. Pet the rose for you. <laughs> Just be what you tell you. Ouch! You've said quite enough. <laughs> what is with these two? Great, now he's got me talking like that. <laughs> Are we quite what is here? with these two? I am I like very him, busy. I like man, to imagine you know? he—that's how he said it in his head, because he's like he's got. It's, me it's like exactly how I said it. Said. If what I is if I read things correctly, <laughs> that's how I would have said it. Right. Well, thanks for your help. So these two are in the foyer, but didn't see Timataro. Totally not bullshit. No. Come along, Filchi. <laughs> Where are we going? All right. Gotta practice them statements for tomorrow. <laughs> Japes! Oh. my eyes. You're going to dig your own grave with that big mouth of yours someday. Oh, kids. <laughs> what does he mean kids. practice statements? He's a grown man. Now if you would ex Now if would excuse me. <laughs> now if would excuse me. I have <laughs> yeah, to learn how to read my English it. again. It's time <laughs> to touch up my makeup. And touch up on my grammar. <laughs> Apollo, I know this sounds strange. But Mr. LaBelle seems unusually preoccupied with Tematoro. Really? How can you tell? <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to explain. Go on. You see, I can read people's emotions from the tone of their voice. Absolutely. You mean you have good ears? Something like that. People's emotions are expressed in the tone of their voice. Yeah, good ears, my mother, apparently. <laughs> and my ears can pick up on even the subtlest of tones for some reason. Not that I know her yet, apparently. Yeah. That's an interesting skill. But what do you mean he's preoccupied with Tenmataro? I'm not exactly sure, but it was like he was obsessed with the thought of Tenmataro. As if he was Tenmataro. That's what I picked up from his voice anyway. Every return it's Tenmataro this, Tenmataro that! Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> we should go talk to the mayor too. Sounds like a plan. We need to get to the bottom of that rumor about him wanting to release Tenmataro. It's probably swood true. Swood this, swood that. The fuck does swood mean? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's a Tenmataro? <laughs> <sighs> Something wrong, Apollo? Where does your enthusiasm go? What am I doing asking the mayor if he has ever thought about releasing Tenmataro? <laughs> At best, you'll think I'm an idiot. At worst? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's here. <laughs> That's... It's so nice to finally meet you! I'm Mr. Justice's partner, Athena Sykes. I'm looking forward to working with you, Mr. Tenma... Taro. <laughs> oh yes, I look forward to working with you too. Yeah, uh, I didn't mind Athena calling him by completely the wrong name. <laughs> Apollo, he's just as kind and gentle looking as I'd imagined. Lucky for you, after that blunder you just made. <laughs> Um, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. There are rumors going around about how you want to or did set Tamataro free. What other nonsense! Jesus. They always assume the worst of me because of the way I look. But these rumors don't have a shred of truth, I tell you. Ooh. A little touchy about his appearance, isn't he? What he really needs to work on are his people skills. Alright. Hey, you. Tamataro's revival. Um, somebody has that they want to push the merger through in order to release Tenmataro. Of course, that's a bunch of baloney, isn't it? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry if I offended you. <laughs> so let's talk around town, is it? I can see how that would make you angry. What if Jinxie's schoolmates start teasing her about this? Aww. Huh? I must break out of here at once. Her tormentors might be taught a lesson. Jesus. No, 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 wait. First, we have to get the night, get you not guilty verdict. He is a very. Don't try to stop me. This is about a father's duty to his darling daughter. Protective Hold text for Jinxie. Daddy's coming to save you. Relax. We, we, we'll take, we'll, we'll look out for your daughter until we can get you free. Okay? He, you know, he, he reminds me of River Star Butterfly's dad. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, sweetie! Is that so? I'll break out of here! Yeah, me too. <laughs> Go straighten things out myself! <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, it'd probably call on the SMOD team if you showed up at her school. Oh, right, I ought to ask about the reason behind the merger. All right. So why the merger? Seems like a rather forceful and pushing for the municipal merger. And you really want Ninetales Vale that badly? Yes, well, it's quite an attractive prize in terms of tourism. Whoa. Uh-oh. Wait. Am I feeling what I think I'm feeling? 
Is that love? Oh my god. <laughs> sure, I played a bit of hardball, but only when it deemed it necessary. I knew it, my bracelet's reacting. What is it, Apollo? Maritima may not be telling the whole truth. Really? How can you tell? Because I have talent too, sweetheart. <laughs> People really tense up when they lie. That's where my bracelet here comes in. I can sense when the person I'm talking to is feeling tense. Because it begins to feel Her tight face. on my arm. She's like, no way! You can do that? Wait, so you believe me? Just like that? Sure, each of us has our own special gifts. Oh yeah, Dean has a gift too, her special sense of hearing. It's almost like they're character traits. <laughs> Still, what do you think the mayor is lying about? I don't know, but it's our job to find out. It's been a while since my bracelet last reacted like this. Let's see if I still remember how to use this. Do this, use this. First touch my bracelet, X. Right, let's give it a whirl. Think. All right, oh, yeah. now I gotta look at you. Yes, I remember this feeling of intense concentration. Oh, this music too. The ability to see the smallest twitch, the slightest frown that no one else can see. Now Maritim was lying somewhere in that statement he just made. And when he lied, a certain habit made itself clear just under his right eye. I just have to shift my viewpoint up and focus on that area. At least they taught me what to look at, I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh god, okay. His eye twitches. <laughs> Alright, I've got him now. His tick should appear when he's trying to pull the wool over my eyes. I've got to pour every, got to pour over every word he says and wait for his tick to appear. And when it does, I'll perceive it. I'll perceive exit. Yes, well. It's quite, uh, it's quite an attractive prize in terms of tourism. You don't care about tourism at all. Nope. Mr. Mayor, please. You can trust us with the truth. The truth? I don't understand. When you mention tourism, the bottom of your right eye started twitching. What nonsense is this? So what if I did? Please tell so us more about your merger bid. What more is that to tell? Why were you really seeking to merge with Nine Tails of Ale? I because it rhymed. You. I'm a sucker tourism. for rhymes. <laughs> The monster craze really revitalized the village, making it quite the prize. You really don't trust us, do you? What are you talking about? The village has been hot property ever since the monster craze started, has it not? I think you've yet to realize that. You gave what him. You're you saying, started to give him. A, you started to give him a British accent in Ishnau too. Whoops! Hang on. <laughs> Gotta drink that rain. You say the monster craze really revitalized Nine Tails Vale, so. You felt it would be an attractive prize for its tourism, but that would contradict this. Uh... Oh no, it's a statement about the thing. That's just nine tails. That's the mask, the crime photo, fox and demon statue. Doesn't really play a thing. Is it gonna be the paper? Um. Oh, the flowers found only in Nine Tails Vale boosts Jinxie's courage because it was her mother's favorite. Maybe you've actually got a point on that. I can only think of either that or the paper, but that's that's a good one, I yeah. think. Uh, <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, I take it all back. Never mind. Oh, forgive me. There was a fly that was driving me crazy. Uh, That's how he deals with flies. I need to see him when he's really angry. So you think I'm not being entirely truthful? Y yes, yes, sir. This guy is seriously scary. I think you've got to realize that what you're saying contradicts the facts. You say that Tales Vale is booming thanks to the monster craze, so that would be attractive. Parts. Well, I guess everyone's terrified of the monster. Oh, maybe. Is that the yeah. case? I'll go with it. I nope. guess I'm wrong. Okay, nope, nope. Okay, okay, so. It'd be an is attractive it, prize for tourism. Is it the scroll? Maybe. Nope. No. Okay, okay. Is it, it the charm? Hang on with us, people. 
Because it could be because Temataro wore him off. Nope. Wow, oh my God. what the okay, hell? I'm bad. I'm bad. Okay, so what is it that would... It's not going to be those. Huh. Would it be the the glossy? Wait, oh wait, uh, it saved on Tails Veils from becoming a ghost town, so it didn't used to be a tourism thing. Mm. That's why. The monster craze in Entails Veil is a very recent phenomenon. We're slow. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> I was overthinking it. Well, we both were off on that yeah. one, so don't feel too bad. It's but it was... the flower thing kind of made sense. Yeah. You know? Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. It made sense to us. Yeah. It was sparked when the amazing Nine Tails rose up against the municipal merger. The village was practically a ghost town before then. <clears throat> so you see, it couldn't have possibly seen it as an attractive prize for its tourism. What's the real reason behind your push to merge Tema Town with Nine Tails Vale, huh? Well, duh. Uh. Duh. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Broken like a Twizzler. What? Do you know how hard it is to break a Twizzler? I don't know why I said that. It's licorice candy. You gotta think, pull the hell out I of that I thing. I think I was gonna say a twig, but I wanted to be different, so my mind was already on the TW, so I went, <laughs> Twizzler? And then I was like, wait, that's, I mean, that's granted, a licorice candy. for us, candy. it wasn't that easy, so it really was like pulling apart one. You know what? You're not wrong at that point. I want Twizzlers now. It's been years since I've had I, one. I don't like licorice that I know much. You I've don't. never really liked licorice. But it's, it doesn't taste like licorice. It tastes like strawberry. I also don't like strawberry. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Are you ready to tell me the truth now? Honestly, I never wanted to pursue the merger in the first place. But I had no choice but one to protect my darling little Jinxie. Protect her from what? I received a threat. Oh. It said either I go through with the merger or my jinxie dies. Jesus fucking Christ! What? How awful! Who would do such a thing? I don't know. But whoever blackmailed me must be connected to the murder. Wait, so you think the blackmailer and the killer could be one and the same? Alderman QB was immensely popular, so you have to ask, who would want him dead? The blackmailer who wanted the merger at all costs had all the motive in the world. But why go from blackmail to murder? The merger protests won't disappear just because the alderman was killed. Uh, could it be? What if there was another reason for the murder? Like what? Maybe the blackmailer discovered alderman QB's secret identity. And his secret identity was a threat to the blackmailer's merger scheme. What do you secret identities have to do with anything, Apollo? I have evidence revealing the alderman's secret identity. Maybe it's time to use it. Should I, uh... Just present it? I'll present it. And I assume it's gonna be the just the mask. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be... Yeah, just the mask. Mayor Tenma, please take a look at this if you would. That's... That's the amazing Nine Tails mask! What's the meaning of this? This mask was almost definitely at the crime scene. Yeah. And there was some white hair inside. White hair? You say? There was but one person with white hair in the manor that day. Yeah. What? What are you saying? You know which man I'm talking about, right? I'm <laughs> talking about Rex QB, the amazing Nine Tails himself. No way! The Osman was impossible! Wait, come to think of it, Alderman QB was a former pro wrestler. So the blackmailer turned killer when he discovered the Alderman's secret identity. Um, didn't I just say that? But yeah, the Amazing <laughs> Nine Tails was a threat to the blackmailer's scheme. He opposed the merger and as a result, single-handedly sparked the monster craze. Even so, what was the mask doing at the crime scene? There had been an event at the manor. And maybe Alderman QB had taken part in it, if you get my drift. This is absurd. Mr. Mayor, do you have any proof of the threat that was made against you? Yes, a blackmail letter. Unfortunately, it disappeared after the murder. Oh, that is unfortunate. I've been carrying it around in my briefcase, but now it's suddenly vanished. It'd be really nice to have. <laughs> the blackmail must have taken it with them when they killed the alderman. <sighs> well, at least we've clearly established the killer's motive. Mayor Tim, a vision hours are over. It would appear this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>
That's my line! <laughs> Apollo, do you really think the Tenma Taro that Jinxie saw is the killer? I don't know. All I know is there's no such thing as monsters. What about that newspaper article? Could the killer have purposely freed Tenma Taro to do their dirty work? Oh, come on! There wasn't any Tenma Taro to release in the first place. Yes, but the only suspects the police have right now are the mayor and a yokai. We'll probably be arguing whether there was a yokai involved in court tomorrow. <sighs> I can already see that look of disbelief in the judge's face. <laughs> Apollo, are you alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll think of something, okay? <laughs> I'd better, because I can't very well say a flying demon was the killer. Well, he did... The <laughs> judge did witness basically an exorcism in court. Yes, that is true. <laughs> so... At this point, the only thing I know for sure is tomorrow's going to be one dozy of a trial. Oh, jeez. To be continued. To be continued. Immediately. Save the game. To be continued. Episode day two. The oh. E Monstorio has turn a, turn a boat. I don't know. I'm just fucking crazy now. <laughs> I you have tried. gone you absolutely tried. asinine. It's okay, you try. I did my best. District Court Defendant Lobby number three. Defendant Lobby number three. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> All right. I love the little ear, 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 earring flick she does. Yeah. Me. You okay, Athena? You've been really antsy ever since we got here. Uh, I'm just excited. This is my first real court case after all. Yeah, a real ball of excitement she is. I know just what she needs. Athena! Me? Eh? Did, didn't you ever learn about indoor and outdoor voices? I'm just trying to show you the best way to relieve your pre-trial jitters. Vocal cords By of steel. By scaring the daylights out of me? No, I find that shouting, I'm fine, in a loud voice really <laughs> relieves stress. <laughs> it's part of my cords of steel voice workout. And a must before that's every trial. That's right, that's, that's what he would... He, yeah. You want me to shout? Here? That's right. Here, I'll go first, then you try. I'm Apollo Justice and I'm fine. All right, um, uh, I'm Athena Sykes, and I'm fine. Hmm, I think that actually worked. I thought it might help. Always worked for me. An old friend of mine from junior high and I say it all the time. I see, a proven remedy to calm the soul. I like it. Hey, how about we finish off with a race around the courthouse? The point is to relieve stress, not get totally exhausted. <laughs> Oh, wow, hi. <laughs> this is all a racket, you two. We're fine! Uh, uh, Mr. Wright! <laughs> <laughs> Just a little voice workout. <laughs> hey, what's with the suit? Oh, this? I was thinking about getting my attorney's badge back, that's all. That's all? That's huge news! But why now? I have a feeling I'll be hey, needing it. Hey, it's that same, that <laughs> same pose. Yeah. It's so weird seeing him dressed like that and not with the whole, you know, beanie and... Yeah stuff. I have a feeling I'll be needed in the courtroom again sometime soon. We can talk about that another time. Oh yeah, I almost no forgot fair. this is in the past. Why <laughs> minds want to know, man. But wow. Yeah. I'm so used to him in his usual laid back Isn't clothes. that what I <laughs> just said? <laughs> yeah. But here he is, all pomp and circumstance. Professional. That suit makes him look like a million dollars. It does. By the way, have you heard about the prosecutor assigned to this case? Yeah, he's serving time, but before that he was a prosecutor. He also uses psychology? That's oh, right. Yeah. I've heard the rumors about how he was back before his conviction. Using the power of suggestion, he can make even the most stalwart defendants confess. Psychology? Oh, in the yeah. Courtroom. Been hearing a lot about that lately. Because, like, you know how people, <clears throat> like, confess to doing crimes they never committed and all yeah. that? And how so many people in jail are actually innocent, but they don't believe they are. And it's, yeah. it's really messed up. So, he must be a pretty scary guy, considering he's a prison inmate and all. So they say. They also say he'll cut you down if you talk too much. Jesus. Nah, I knew it was going to be bad news. <laughs> it's probably just hyperbole. At least I hope for your sake. Jesus. Because you talk way too much, Apollo. <laughs> Wait, so is it true or not? <laughs> see, I won't tell you. <laughs> Let's just say you should be concise and choose your words carefully. Jesus. <laughs> if you'd like to keep that head of yours attached to the rest of your body, that is. Oh my yeah, God. <laughs> Better turn down my co cords of steel, too. <laughs> so... You all ready? It might be a good idea to check the court record again before stepping into the ring. Right, Mr. Wright. But, but, but I'm fine. <laughs> I'll watch him from the gallery. Good luck. I'm going to watch him from up top, away from the sword range. <laughs> I, I measured it carefully this morning. 
Thanks. That makes me feel better. Oh, God. Okay, let's do this. The odds of pulling this off are ridiculously low, but that's nothing new. Nope. Believe in our client. Seek the truth. That's all we can do. Hang in there, Mayor Tenma. Here comes justice. There it is. That's our boy. Right. I want him to say that out loud so badly. Just accidentally one day. I know, right? right. People look at him just like, we're not surprised. <laughs> nope. Hello! Court is now in session. All, All rise. rise. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Damien Tanma. Apollo Justice Defense Team Leader is ready, Your Honor. It's so interesting to see him like that. All 3D. Yeah. I don't know that big booming voice anywhere. It's chip as ever, eh, Mr. Justice? But who is the young lady next to you? I'm Athena Sykes, Mr. Justice's junior partner and fresh out of law school. Well now, full of beans too, eh? Excellent. Makes an old man feel young again. Now for the prosecution. An invisible man. <laughs> it appears the prosecution is not ready yet. Never fear, for I shall explain. It's just a minor procedural complication, Your Honor. He murdered everyone. The prosecutor <laughs> for this case is being escorted from prison as we speak. Prison? Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot that he is certainly currently serving time. <laughs> Jesus, that makes no sense. That makes no oh, sense. Boy. Ooh. Oh, God. Here we go. Yup, Prosecutor Blackquill's an inmate. Uh... He does have a sword. Well, that's a lot of blood. Yeah. Jesus. But even a convicted murderer still got a job to do and duties to perform. Whoa. It makes no sense that they would trust a convicted whoa well, hello good sir not very good but <laughs> yeah hello bad sir um <clears throat> okay um well it's just just dots for now yeah um <laughs> who's that with his back to us over there that's him i'm sure of it prosecutor blackwell um, is the prosecution ready <sighs> Oh, jeez. He's scary. Enough jabbering. Get on with it already. Ah, of course, forgive me. Nah, why are all the people related to this case so scary? For real. I will, Prosecutor Blackwell, your opening state. Ah, what's the matter? <laughs> Must we continue to fritter away time like this? It is all right. It is all right there in the indictment. An opening statement would be pointless. Pointless? Uh, oh, um, well. It looks like the cat, or in this case, the prosecutor, has a judge's tongue. But, but, uh, we need an opening statement as an overview of the case at hand. Hmm. <laughs> well, then, your baldness, if it's so very important, why don't you do the honors? What? Me? There's a term for people who whine and fuss about how they need silly, useless things. And then decide they no longer want them once it's theirs. A selfish old fool. Huh? Wait, was that the prosecution's opening statement? <laughs> old dude, dotards such as you are the plague among the young. Jesus. I pity your poor grandchildren. Jesus. Or is it great grandchildren? Damn! <laughs> All these years, I thought the opening statement was the prosecutor's job. But I suppose I could give it a try. Might be a nice change of pace. What? <laughs> he actually fell for that? That must have been the power of suggestion Mr. Wright was talking about. Ahem. The opening statement, huh? Hmm. Let's see here. The victim was one Rex Cuby, a demon of nine tails fail. And the defendant, Damien Tenma, mayor of Tenma Town, is accused of his murder. And why, pray tell, was the mayor arrested? His prints were on the murder weapon. 
because he had the motive, the elimination of the biggest roadblock to the municipal murder. The caretaker and the secretary are the potential suspects both have alibis, and his daughter, who was also in the vicinity at the time of the incident, has no motive. So in a nutshell. I have to say the charges against defendant are inconvertible. Bravo, your baldness. Your years of experience shine bright like your head. <laughs> Rattery will get you everywhere! He's always playing Simon Says with the judge. Moving right along, now let's hear from our first witness for today, Detective Fulbright. And we'll hear from him next time. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare and a half. Oh, yeah.